Did God create in six days? We learn in science class that the earth is 4.54 billion years old. We learn in church that it's 6,000 years old. This contradiction is so severe that many simply don't take the Bible seriously and claim that this contradiction is the primary reason. Still others reject science in favor of the Bible for the very same reason. So stop saying that this isn't an important issue. In fact, it gets more complicated. There is a huge division in Christianity on whether the Bible actually says the earth is 6,000 years old. The 6,000 year guys are called young earth. The other guys are called Old Earth. The Young Earth Camp says that the Old Earth Camp is throwing away the clear meaning of the Holy Bible for what the crazy scientists say. The Old Earth Camp says that the Young Earth guys are just saying mean, offensive things to keep people from listening to them. It boils down to one chapter of the Bible, Genesis 1. Here the text describes six days on which God created different parts of the Earth. Everything revolves around one word, but it's not day, it's yom. The Bible was written thousands of years before English existed in ancient Hebrew. While modern English language boasts over two million words, ancient Hebrew had around 6,000. Words had more than one meaning. The word yom can literally be translated as afternoon, daylight hours, 24 hours, and age. In fact, it is the only word for every one of those. Should it be translated as 24 hours or as age? Well, it's a lot like the English word love. We all understand that I love you is very different from I love tacos. So the issue that the young earth guys or the old earth guys have to establish is what the context of the use of the word yom is. Each creation day reads like this. And there was evening and there was morning, the whatever number day. The young earth camp says that this obviously makes yom mean 24 hours. But the problem there is that morning also means beginning and evening also means ending in ancient Hebrew. In fact, Moses uses them this way in Psalm 90. The young earth camp also argues that if the earth is billions of years old, then many animals died before Adam and Eve committed the first sin. They claim that God called what he made in Genesis 1 good, so no one died. But that raises a bigger problem of why God allowed sin and death to ever happen. If God has morally justifiable reasons for that, then maybe he also had such reasons for allowing animal death millions of years ago. Finally, the young earth camp cites Romans 5.12 as evidence that no animals died before Adam sinned. Therefore, just as sin entered the world through one man and death through sin. But the problem is obvious when you read the rest of the verse. And so, death spread to all men because all sinned. Which puts the context clearly on human death. The old earth camp claims that creation day 7 in Genesis 1 isn't 24 hours since the text never says it ends and calls it God's rest. Also, the book of Hebrews refers to God's rest as still going on today. But the problem there is that this is a reference to the seventh day and not the other six when God did all the creating. The old earth camp also claims claims that Genesis 2-4 uses the word day to refer to all the six days of Genesis 1. This is true, but you only see it in a literal translation like the NASB or the ESV. This verse clearly demonstrates the ancient Hebrew uses of the word yom as an unspecified period of time or age. But the problem here is that this verse doesn't really make it clear how long the six days are. The conclusion is really interesting. Genesis wasn't written to tell us how old the earth is. We work hard to find it in there because we assume that is why it was written. But in ancient Hebrew, the first chapter of Genesis Genesis refers to a list of ancient gods. Each of these gods were associated with things in nature that God created. Genesis is introducing the idea that one God created everything, which was very radical and different 3,000 years ago, but is old and boring today. For a longer explanation of more details about issues between Genesis and science, you can watch my video, Genesis is Misinterpreted, by clicking here. The Bible and science don't really contradict on the age of the earth, but there are many other really big contradictions. The account of creation of man and woman cannot possibly be reconciled with evolution. Furthermore, science tells us that every miracle is basically impossible.